Hello and welcome to American Dream TV. I'm your host, Tegan Enlow, and today we're at Owl's Garden and Home, where they've been beautifying yards for over 75 years, and it's my favorite place to pick up plants for my upcoming listings. Let's go check some out. Okay, so marigolds are one of my favorites. Um, we have the traditional yellow and orange, but these ones over here are called strawberry marigolds. And I love the colors in them because they're a little bit more pastel-y and they're great for your garden because they attract pollinators, which makes all your other flowers bloom and look great. Hi, Mark, Hi. it's so good to see you. Thanks for having us today. Okay, so. I've been looking at all the plants and I need you to tell me about the origin story. And I know that your family has been running this business for 75 years. So tell me how it started. So it started with my grandfather and he was Al, hence yeah. Al's Garden and Home. Um, so he started and as just a roadside fruit stand. It was in Woodburn at, at our Woodburn store site there. And there was an um, unused chicken coop on this property that he bought. And he, he had the idea of making a fruit stand. So he brought that out to the street and started selling produce. He and my grandmother started the business. So that was in 1948. A few years later, my dad graduated from high school and um, he started working with my, my grandfather and my grandfather's eyes started to go bad. So a couple years after dad had been in college, he came into the business full time to help him out. My dad always loved plants. And so he said, well, dad, can I bring in some plants? And my grandfather said, sure, Jack, go ahead. You can do that. But just remember the produce, produce is where the money is. My grandfather made the accountant go over the books twice at the end of the year because my dad wound up making more in his bonus than he did in his hourly wage. Oh, I love that. And I'm so glad he did because plants are one of my love languages. I love all things beautiful and flowering. Okay, so can you show me some of your favorites? Yeah, absolutely. Have some right over here. Okay, so tell me what we have here. So we have this table full of just absolutely beautiful plants for this time of the year. Which one's yes. your dad's plant? So that is the heliotrope. So this particular variety is Fragrant Delight and he actually worked to name that plant. He kind of developed it, selected it and named that plant. That's wonderful. Yeah. I'm going to list a property. Mm -hmm. I show up, there are no plants in the yard. We've got grass, we've got bark. What would you tell me to get? I love like these crepe myrtle. Uh, so they're a good size shrub, so they'll look substantial. It won't look, won't look like something that's kind of puny in the yard. Mm -hmm. And I think color is really important. That really draws the eye and just kind of sets the place off. So these are gonna keep blooming for a long time into the summer. There's no place like home, which is why I wanted to come here to the Woodhaven community, which is nestled in the heart of Sherwood. People love living here because of the picturesque scenery, the beautiful canopy of trees, and it's the kind of place where when you walk down the street, your neighbor's gonna say hi, a dog might come over and give you a little hello, and you may even find a cute lemonade stand. One of the first things I do whenever I walk into a house is I look to see whether or not they've installed curtains. I'm talking about fabric ones. They add so much personality to a room. Uh, I did a light fabric here because I really wanted to play up on the natural light. Curtains themselves can almost be like wall art and it really takes the pressure off of having to fill up your walls with different types of art pieces. Make sure you invest in your yard. You can get beautiful plants at places like Owls and having fresh florals in your front yard, even some fresh mulch, they really go a long way to that curb appeal. So traditionally homes that were built a couple decades ago are gonna have a larger space. So I decided to stage this one as more of a conversation seating area and a home office. To really divide the space into two distinct uses, I put these ottomans down. I really appreciate you being here today. I'm Tegan Enlow with American Dream TV and we'll see you next time. Bye.